Hello there, everyone. This is Felix from Felix the Dev, where coding is a lifestyle. And for those who are new to my channel, my name is Felix, and on this channel, I help people learning how to code, also computer science students completing their degrees. So if you would like videos like this one to help you in your journey, then click on that subscribe button. Also click on the bell icon so you'll be notified when I upload a video. So what are we going to talk about today? Today we're going to talk about, I'm going to give you guys a brief introduction to the programming language known as Julia. Uh, I'm going to talk about what is, what is Julia, what can you use it for, and how to get started. It's going to be a short video just to help you get started if you're interested in using the programming language known as Julia. So, sorry about that. So let's get started. So... What is Julia? Julia is a programming language that is also known as a high-level programming language. It's a, it's a general purpose language. You can use it to write user interfaces. It is statically compiled. But it's something that uh, you guys need to know is that uh, Julia is dynamically typed, which is very important. So also you can use it to deploy, uh, to deploy it on, the web, on a web server. You can use it with other programming languages using things known as interfaces uh, and uh, to communicate with uh, languages like C, Fortran, C++, Python, R, and Java. And to communicate with Python, you can use something called PyJulia, which I'm going to put the link on the description below of this video so you can take a look at it if you want to use it with Python, which is something pretty cool. And also, you can use it with R, with something called R's Julia Call. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a link in the description as well if you're interested in using it with R or Python. So what can you use the programming Julia for? And the first thing you can use it for is data science. You can uh, uh, perform online computations if you want to with Julia. And you can also uh, use something called to do the online computations with onlinestats.jl. And you can work with databases. And it can, be, it can be integrated with the Hadoop ecosystem if you're interested in that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Also, you can use uh, the programming Julia for machine learning. You can use, uh, use it for deep learning using something called flux.jl. And also, Julia uh, has a mathematical syntax which you can use to express algorithms like in uh, you see them in, uh, in papers, in scientific papers. So that's something very important to know. That's why Julia fills in the need in the market. And it's pretty cool for those things. Also, you can use it to uh, perform linear models, uh, dual linear models, sorry about that decision trees and clustering. So that's something that if you're interested in doing a, doing a linear model uh, or, or use it for clustering as well, you can use Julia, which is pretty cool. Also, you can use Julia for data visualization using something called plots.jl. I'm going to put the link on the description if you're interested for that as well. So now we're gonna get, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to get started with Julia, where I'm gonna show you where to download and install it and set up an IDE uh, or just a text editor, I should say, with Julia. So it's pretty simple. So to download Julia, you just go to julialang.org and I'm gonna put the link on the description as well to this website. And you just go right here. This is the, the official uh, uh, website. So if you want to learn more about Julia, download it, just go right here. It's julialand.org. You click on download and you'll see all the options that you have. I already downloaded and installed it, but it's pretty, uh, pretty easy to do. And it's available for Windows, for Mac, which I use. I use Mac. So that's uh, what you're going to be seeing here today. And so yeah, so it's pretty easy to do. Just go right here to julian.org slash downloads and just uh, download and install Julia. And after you install it and you start it up, you should see in your terminal, if you're using Mac, you should see a little window like this, 
where you see the word Julia and it tells you the documentation. And this is a terminal where you can run uh, and, and uh, compile your Julia code if uh, you want to start doing that. So I use uh, the text editor I use is called Atom. So if you want to download and use Atom, you can use it with other um, uh, text editors. Uh, you can use uh, Julia with with other text editors, no problem. But I use Atom, and you can download it at atom.io, and it's going to be the link in the description as well. So after I'm gonna also show you guys how to use it with Atom. It's pretty simple. After you download and install Atom, and you open it up. You go to packages and you go to command pod right here and you click on toggle. All right. And I, and you and you type install. Right. And where it says application install update, just click it right here. Well, no, sorry, not it's not that one. It's uh ah, where is it? No, my bad. It's not uh no no, just go to Come at Palette, you go to Toggle, you go to you type Install, and it's sending you Install Packages and Themes. There you go. That's where you go. It's not Install Update. It's Install Packages and Themes. Just click on that. And I apologize for that. And just go to where it says Install, and you type in, in Search Packages, you type Julia. It says it right here, Language Julia. And this is the one that says your Julia language support for Atom. And I already installed it, so you just install it and it will uh, set it up with Atom as well. So there you go, guys. A brief, uh, short introduction into the programming language known as Julia. If you like this video, click on that like button. Also, click on that subscribe button so you don't miss a video. Click on the bell icon as well so you'll be notified when I upload. I upload videos every week. So you'll be uh, staying up to date with uh, videos that can help your journey as a computer science student or someone learning how to code. Um, and stick around for the next videos uh, that may come up with uh, as part of the series of the Julia programming language. So I will see you guys on the next video. And also, if you would like to support the channel, I'll put uh, uh, some ways that you can do uh, you can do that on the link on the description. And this way I can keep doing these videos and just uh, helping you guys out in some way or another. So I will see you on the next video. My name is Felix from Felix to Dev and have a great day guys. Take care.